Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're going to start a series of videos related to uh, UI views in Xcode or iOS. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to, uh, we're going to start with a video, first video just to talk about the views, how you create a view, uh, view, how do you add it to a screen. And the second one, we'll talk about how we add another view into another, uh, like a view into a parent view or like sub views. And uh, we talk about the differences between frames and uh, bounds. And the third one, we'll talk about how we access the views in a particular view, sub views, and how we change them, and then how to remove them from a view. Uh, the next one, we will talk about how we create custom views, uh, where I can we implement, we create a class, and it has its own. Uh, uh, the view will have its own class. And the last one, we'll talk about animating views. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and start. So I'm gonna say file new project. I'm going to call this. It's a single view. And I'm gonna call it uh, uh, app views. Okay. And then Swift iPhone. And the next, I'm gonna call it create it here. We have only one view controller. In this main storyboard, we have one view controller. The first thing I'm going to do, just for simplicity, until we cover lay, uh, layouts, I'm going to disable layout classes. All right, this view, to start with, has no nothing. All right, But what we're going to do, like, we will monitor for student touches. So every time you touch on the screen, then the uh, we will draw a view where you touch, where the user touches. Okay, so we're gonna implement some of the methods or one method in particular that monitors for uh, users' touches on the screen. And uh, after we do that, then we actually uh, create a view and add it to this, to this view. Now, to, to explain how the things work, you have in a view controller, UI view controller, you already have a view. So the class view controller already, which is associated with this view controller, already have access to this view. Okay, so already have access to this view here. Okay, so it's called self.view. All right, and this the uh, the views that we'll be adding, it will be, we'll be adding to this view. This view has coordinate system. It has uh, the origin, and the origin here is zero, zero at the top. And it has width and height. This is called bound. Where we place the view, like if we add another view here, it's called a frame. We have to give it a frame and tell it where do we want to put it inside that view. We'll talk about these in more details later. So we will first, we need to understand the coordinate system. You have x. We have y, and then you have zeros here. Okay, you have the, this is the width, and then this is the height. All right. So let's go ahead and start. And in, in the view controller class, the first thing we want to do is that we want to monitor where the user touches. And there are a few methods that you could do that with. One of them is if you just in type in touch, you have touch. Began, touches began, touches canceled, touches ended, and touches moved. The one that we're going to implement is called touches ended, where I pressed and then I lift my finger up. Okay, so we're going to implement this. And then this is a method available for us. We just need to uh, override it in our class. All right, so the first step is that we need to get the user location. Where did the user touch on the screen? That means X and Y in reference to the view that we're in. Remember, we have a, a coordinate system, right? So the, we need to get, we need to define a, an object called touch first equal touches that any object. What is What are we doing here? And then I'm going to cast it as UI touch. Let me explain what, what we're doing here in a minute. This function touches ended receives 
and a set or touches, basically it's, think about it as an array of objects. And these objects represent where the user has touched on the screen. It could be one finger, two fingers, many fingers, ten up to ten fingers, I think. So you might get one or many, depending on where the how many times the user touch. But in this scenario, I don't care. I just wanted to create, give me one place where the user has touched, and uh, I want to draw where the where the user touches. So we have here we say we're defining an object says touches any objects that mean give me any objects where the user touched on the screen so it could be one out of many all right but it doesn't matter in this application all right so now the next thing we're going to do we will say i want to get the location so we say let location on the screen equal to what equal touch dot uh it's called um, location in view and we give it the view which view the view that belongs to the view controller which is view self dot view so this will give me where the user has touched in the in this view right here okay because this is the view for the root view controller the view controller this okay so each each of the, each of view controller comes with a view, and this is the view for that view controller. All right, now I'm ready to go ahead. Now location will have two coordinates of important to me: the location x and y. So the next thing I'm going to do is that we want to create create the view and add it to the super view, which is in this case self dot view yeah all right so now how do you create a frame how do you create a ui view the way you create the ui view it's just like any other class let v equal ui view okay and then you need it this this uh, ui view has several initializer one of them you can provide a frame or you can create it but you need to set the frame afterward same thing with this one <clears throat> I'm going to do it the two step first, which means that I'm going to use this one first, and then we set the frame afterwards. What is the frame? The frame is actually the, the location and the size of that view. So I'm going to say let f equal. Now, notice when I said UI view here, notice what is it accepting? What is it looking for? It's looking for something called CG rect. It's a rectangle with the coordinates x and y and width and height. Okay, so we need to create something like that. We need to say CG rect, and which one do we need to use? We need to use the one that has integers four point. No, and then do you see this here? X y. Uh, width and height. So if I use that, x and y depending on where the user has touched. So I say location.x, location.y, this is where we got from where we got this from where the user has touched. And then the width, let's make it 60, and then we make this 60. All right. Now, this view has just like any other view, if you know, remember when that storyboard, you can set the background color, for example. You can say uh, let v oh not let v that just v that background color and i'm going to say ui color and then use the red color okay that's all we have to do so we've created the view we set the size of the view and the location in respect to the parent view and then we change the, the color. The next thing we do is that we add it. And the way we add it, we add it to the parent view, which is self.view, add subview, and then we give it the view we want to add, which is v. All right, it's as easy as, as that. That's all we have to do. So now if you look at this, if you run it, Every time you touch anywhere on the screen, did we, 
not implementing, it should add a, a view. All right. Well, let's see what's the problem. It should be doing this. Okay, so let's check here. There is the I view. We're getting out. Okay, what's the issue here? Self that you add sub view that v background color that's correct. Oh, we didn't set the frame. All right, this is a good way. We did not set the frame for the view. No, it's, this is a good actually way to find the error. What happened is that we missed a step here, which is we need after we created the view, we need to set the frame for the view with the new rectangle was just created. So which is f. All right. So now you notice this is what's going to work. It's going to work now. Okay. Okay. So every time you create a view, you click. It creates it creates a view where you click. Okay. Uh, Xcode has a nice feature, new feature. When you click on this, it shows you the view layouts and how are they stacked on top of each other. Okay. So this is one good uh, tool that shows you how many. Uh, views or layers on top of each other uh, in your uh, in your uh, view controller. Okay. All right. That's it for this. Now the next step, we, uh, the next video, I'm going to show you how we we talk about the bounds and the frames. Okay. And then how we add sub views to this view. All right. So I'm going to stop recording and start a new one.